If I was gonna do it every night, I'd be playing like some like really chill game and just talking about random BS. Oh, that's a 33% chance. Or 33.33333. Well, I want to help you out with this one. Yeah? Yeah, because I'm, I'm nice. Yeah? Which one do you want to press? The front one. And which one do you think is gonna open the mouth? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well. If you press the top one, I fall through the floor. You'll probably like it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's a save! Woo! Yes! Hello, my lovely save point. We're not gonna use uh, another shelter because we don't really need it, but. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. The mouth still isn't open. No, that didn't open the mouth. It, it, it did allow me to save, which I'm going to save again because I'm like paranoid. Mm. Alright. This one opens the mouth. Go ahead. That's why I decided to tell you. Because <laughs> then you can't get to the same point. You can fall in there, be careful. Oh, and that one doesn't open the mouth either. But at least you, um, you know, got rid of the floor before you dropped those bad guys in the room. Yeah, none, none of the switches open the mouth. You just gotta walk up to it. <laughs> Alrighty, that was fun. It was just square trolling you. Did, did you hit the switch? Yep. Cool. I gotta come back out of here and go up the middle. Yep. confrontation. It was but a matter of time. Will it be we reptites who would inherit the earth? No. Dinosaur kills man. Women inherit the earth. Or, you know, the, what is it? <laughs> like, Trying to do the Jurassic Park? Yeah. yeah. Women inherit the earth. Will it be we reptites who inherit the earth? Or you soft-skinned apes? It'll be the, the female apes. With female the help of the men. Apes. You know, otherwise, they would die after one generation. What else? Strong, strong live. We die. Ayla, just fight. Fort. That's right. Go fight. Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon be hearing more of it than you'd ever wish. Uh, okay. I'm gonna steal your treasure. Thank you, bro. Oh, there's no Triceratopper. He's just gonna come in here and loot your chest. Damn it, Ether. I think the game's selling you something. Inventory uh, equipment. Let's see. I feel like Ayla needs the Triceratopper. It fits. Alright. Let's go follow it. We can do it! Oh, what the actual <laughs> heck? Damnable Red Star! Fall! Why don't you? Stain the Earth Red! Should it prove our fate to die, we will not relinquish this world to the likes of you. This black tyranno will have the honor of wiping you filthy apes from existence forever. <laughs> I think my favorite part is just doing the different voices. I like being funny. Or thinking I'm funny. Oh, <laughs> F. 
Uh, okay. Uh, well. Let's... Welcome to the Black Tyranno fight. We're going with lightning first. Just so you know, you have two targets here. Fair. Oh, that did. Jack did like. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, um. Uh, that's right. You didn't like ice. <gasps> okay. I was like, you drop my healer off the top of this and I'm gonna kill you. I feel like you're gonna kill him anyways. Or her. He's always a girl. He doesn't like ice. I don't know what Black Tyranno doesn't like, but I'm guessing I don't have it in my party. He doesn't give a hoot about ice or or lightning. She's scared, then she's giggling, and then she's dropped on the ground. It's like, oh no! <laughs> Boom! Yeah, that's quite the, uh, quite the realization there. It's like, I'm gonna die! No, I'm not! Boom! The current, like, method of my madness right now, oh no! Slumber's OP. <laughs> Not quite as overpowered as your witch's slumber. Is it because I can kiss his boo boos? defense and begins storing power. Power for him. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, basically, Black Tyranno has insane defense until he kills Azela, then he drops his power and starts doing a big attack. Oh, that was my strategy. I was like, okay, obviously, I need to kill this other guy first because I can actually attack him with some, like, and put some numbers on the board. He only lowers his defense while he's doing this. Oh, we don't Zero! Okay. We all die. Not quite.
How do I get him to do that again, though? Did you try hitting? Yeah, his defense is still lower. Okay. And lowers defense begins storing power. Faster for your dual attacks. Oh, fair. I, I haven't even been thinking about it. Ice too, too. This is definitely uh, an interesting fight. And let it be known for all time, we reptites fought proudly to the bitter end. Ayla, no. First, a great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread. To, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I thought it was Ayla. I was like, wow, it's a lot of words for Ayla. <laughs> okay. First, a 
great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the eye of the land. Then the chill wind begins to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. Ha ha ha! A fitting end to our age indeed. Ma ha ha ha! Lavos. What? Like, this is a real MVP of this game right here, Lavos. Not gonna lie. Like, everybody else is like, isn't crap compared to Lavos, apparently. Oh. Ela people word. La means fire. Vos means big. Oh, yes. Ela Kino. The damn eagles at the end of Lord of Rings all over again. Why didn't we just fly up here to begin with? Could have just flown to Mordor. Yeah. Freaking done with it. Drop the ring. Just done like a flyby drop of the ring. Just like, whoosh, done. All done, man. Didn't need any of the rest of that bull. Hurry! Lobos fall soon! All right, Dactyl. Kino, hurry! Ayla, what you do? Come, Azela, come. No. This is the will of the earth. Ayla, hurry! Azela. Ayla, not. Take. Take. What take? Take care of this world. I mean, oh. Well, you know they say when you play with fire. There you go. Magus didn't summon Lavos to the earth. Lavos was the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. No, I think you. I think we have to put the timeline. I think you know we made a big mistake. So lava has fell to the earth in this era. Lava's huge. Chrono, fight that. Chrono, we go place Lavos fall. Okay. <laughs> he just arrived here. We might still be able to do something. Let's go see. I love how positive she is. She's so positive. Like, she's always so perky and happy. I mean, that's how I, that's how she is in my head. And so that's how I make her sound. I just imagine that Marl's a very, very happy person. Where are you going? I mean, is that where I'm going? The yeah, they said, let's go check out Lobos because he just landed. Okay, fair. Oh, and there's a gate! Where are we going to go in time now? Lobos fast, deep under earth now. This gate was opened by Lobos. He's probably the source of all the gates. What's wrong, Chrono? Want to fight Lobos? Go here. No. Uh, no, nah, man, I want to save first.
no one ever before they fight the boss. Chrono, where this place? Oh, it sounds pretty. What? It's the Ice Age! 12,000 BC. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Yep, Ice Age. Yep. Feeling like Ayla's gotta be a little cold. <laughs> I mean, Honestly, everybody's gotta be a little cold. What? Uh, says no, we can't go there. Winter is coming. Over here. Skyway. Some pretty interesting technology for 12,000 BC. I mean, it's been like 65 million years. Yeah, since but. Humans. We don't even really have robots in, in, in Chrono's time. We don't have robots here either. No, they have beam me up, Scotty. What? 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 What is it? Is this game like? <laughs> it's Chrono Trigger. In Hasa. Mikasa. Sorry. The bouncing goblin dude. Oh my, he looks just like uh, Mura and Masa. This is the magic kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can be made reality. See, they don't have technology. But nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. Okay, like you do. It's the magic, not technology. Fair. What's his face said that um, the people of this world used to have magic. So that's, I guess, before... You're, and you're, and you're a descendant from them, which is why you can use magic. So before my time, after Ayla's time. Which is, that, why, which is why Ayla can't use magic, because she's not descended from them. Right. Because she was prior to them. Right. Uh, that narrows it down a little bit, though. Like, So somewhere between 12,000 BC and... I don't remember what year of my time is, what? Like 1000 AD. I love how we use, we're using the BC AD, but I don't think Chrono's in our world, so, or is he? I mean, if anything, Cr Chrono is like a Jesus allegory himself. He's the Messiah? Well, when you're done with the game, we, I can show you that. There's a, there's a lot of Jesus um, parallels. Alright, welcome to Inhasa, Zeal City of Dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. It sounds like a cult to me, man, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I mean, when the cult can actually do magic, I, I think they prefer to be called a coven or, or something. Hmm, you are not of us, are you? I love how accepting they are of that. Huh! You're not, you're not like us. Cool. As far as the story of Chrono Trigger and, and Chrono Cross as well, the kingdom of zeal is exceedingly important. You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal. What is... <laughs> this game... This game, okay, I'm just gonna say this. I gotta say this. This game has such imagination when it comes to the story. 
and so many twists and turns. They just name their monarchs after the country. That's all. Like that's not really their name. Like when you take the throne, you become. I get king. that. I get that. But like, it. The Queen of England isn't Queen England. No, but she could be. What? Whatever. I just think that you have this game. It's a beautiful game. Awesome story. And the monarchs name themselves after their countries. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that's, you know, I'm not saying that ruins it for me. I'm just saying that, like, why? Her, you know what her husband's name is? King Zeal. Yeah, you already played this game, haven't you? <laughs> that's gotta be, like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going there. I'm trying to keep this PG, uh, at least PG 13. I was gonna say something bad. I'm not. Moving on. It makes a little more sense that they named their Queen and King Zeal in this game, in this one, in this one. She is without peer in beauty or grace. She's sleeping over here in this hurt. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. I guess that's a headband and not a crown. This, you know, queen must be, I mean, she wouldn't just be in a bed, right? Queen has sealed away the great element weapons and armors, forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entry entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna be going, though. That was like, like, the most obvious hint ever. It wasn't enough of a hint for them to just say it. It was like, oh, and let me show you it on the map while I'm at it. Say it. The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the enlightened ones, lack the meaning, the means to open it. Have you come to do business? Sure, I want to see what you got. You have a bunch of... Alright, well, let's just restock up. I mean, why not? You have 41,000... You know, when you have 41k, might as well. But, as far as relation to the real world, if you want to consider it's the real world, the meteor that killed the dinosaurs and everything. Zeal would be Atlantis. Cool. 